Hello crafty friends, today's video is this altered playing card which is card number 30 in my full deck challenge. You can join my group on Facebook, just search full deck challenge group. For the background I'm going to be using this gorgeous washi tape from the washi tape shop. It is absolutely beautiful, it has got some gold metallic on it which makes it sparkle. It's a little bit vintagey, a bit shady, shabby chic with the pink roses and I think it's going to look just beautiful. This card is going to be relatively easy to make because we are not actually painting anything on it. We're using the washi tape as the background. I will put a link to the washi tape shop in the description below. Also look out for a discount code that you can use to receive 10% discount on your purchase. This washi tape is really nice and wide, so I only need three pieces to cover the whole face of the card. And the design isn't matching up or forming a full picture, but that's okay. I do like just the colors, the textures, and the small patterns on it, and I think it's going to look really great. I'm just going to trim off the excess using a scissors. I think the card looks great even just like that, but I'm going to add a little bit more to make it into a vintage style button card. I have found a few beige buttons. They're all a different design and that's fine. I quite like the mix. I wouldn't want everything to be exactly the same. And I'm not going to sew them onto the card. I'm going to stick them onto the card, but I'm going to put some thread through the holes just to make it look more realistic. So I've just got some thread, it's very thin embroidery thread that I have and I'm just going over twice over each um, circle to create a look as if it's sewn in and then I'm just going to tie off the back. I will do the same for all the buttons. I'm also going to add a small piece of text which is actually just a die cut. I think that that finishes off the look and balances out the buttons and just gives it a little bit more interest to the card. And then I'm going to glue everything down with the hot glue. If you have patience, you could always sew the buttons onto the card. I don't have patience, so I'm going to glue them down. I will link below a video tutorial by Junk Journal Joy, where she does the same kind of thing with a button card, but sews them on. So you can have a look and just see how you could sew the buttons on. Please subscribe to my channel, I'd love to see you around to watch more of my videos and don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you're notified every time I upload new content. In this close up you can see the thread that I've put in the middle of the button, how it looks like it's actually sewn onto the card, like those true vintage button cards that we used to get. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to have a look at the washi tape shop. They have some gorgeous items for your crafting. And I will see you again soon. Bye.